is the swim team in the building. I said it's the swim team in the building. Let's drown these and get these gold medals. Squad! Today we have something like a story time. Now, I ain't gonna hold you. I wasn't really gonna drop a video today, man. I was gonna, I was gonna let y'all live. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't gonna try to run it up on y'all today, but... I'm sitting here editing the video for tomorrow, which is a haircut, which y'all should check out, because your boy done got nice. Your boy done got real nice, you know what I mean? And I get I get a comment. Usually when people leave comments, it pop up on my computer. And a comment was like, um, what did it say? Hold on. I got it on my phone. Hold on, I gotta find it. First of all, you're not spinning, homie. You have ripples. Don't get it twisted. That's cap. I was like, damn. I want to say something. When people leave comments like that, it don't bother me. You feel me? Like, I appreciate your two cents or your ten cents. I don't know how much YouTube, like, pays me every time somebody views the video, but I appreciate you for that. But for some strange reason, though, this whole week, since I, like, really came back and started uploading videos, like, my comment section been crazy, bro. Like... The, the the negativity in the comment section just been crazy. And I love it. I love it, man. Because at the end of the day, some some of y'all, I just look at y'all as cornballs. Like, some of y'all are cornballs. You know what I mean? Like, for me, this is fun. When I do videos, it's fun. Like, I do videos for people who support me or, you know, who just... Who just be chilling. Like, I be chilling. If anybody ever met me in real life, you know I be chilling. I never... I'm not extra, you feel me, like, that's it. So, even in my videos, sometimes I may come across, I don't know how I come across, but I know I be trying to make sure that, you know what I'm saying, you get a, a good side of me, you get the good vibes of me. But some of y'all, I don't know if y'all look at these videos and y'all got like a, a, pre, a, a messed up, preconceived notion of who I am. But don't, don't, don't get it twisted, bro, you know what I mean? It be funny though. I'm hold on. Before we really get to the story, it be funny because a lot of times people will leave comment like that on the internet and then they see you in real life and then be like Les! Oh my god, Les! And be like, "Yo, where that where was that energy that you had in the comment section?" A perfect example is when um the whole back and forth was going on, I ain't gonna really elaborate. Go, I ain't gonna go too in depth. But when the whole back and forth was going on, yeah, I was in the comment section crazy. I was in my comment section. I was in the, the other dude comment section. I, you know what I'm saying? And I was seeing people, bro. And some of these people that had their pictures up and then, yeah, man, overdose lads is just a drama queen, bro. Overdose lads is just that in the third. Like overdose lads do this, that in the third. I don't even like lads like that, no, like. That's why I unsubscribe from his channel. That's why I don't even be watching his videos. Dude, be corny. Then, like, you see him in person. Because some of them did see me in person. Yo, bro. I can't believe it's you. First off, I'm not famous. Secondly, like... Where's, where's that energy you had a couple months ago? You feel me? Like, for me, I think... I don't never call people fans or nothing like that. I just consider everybody a supporter. Like, I feel as though a fan, I know a fan is, is I don't know. For me to call somebody a fan, I'd be like, it's like I'm feeling myself. And I don't, I don't like that. So I just say people are supporters. Like, I have 32,000 supporters. I don't have 32,000 fans. But when you act like that, you a fanboy. You feel me? But anyway, man. Today I want to tell y'all this story time. Like, I used to be a part of a, a a wave group, right? I'm not gonna call no names. You know what I mean? I don't have no problem with people who are part of like wave teams. I think that joint is cool as hell. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it funky. I think it's cool as hell. Like when I went to that wave check and uh, what is it, WTBD when they pulled up with their jackets, I was like, oh shit, this shit like grease. I don't know if any of y'all ever seen Grease, bro, when they had the, the, the T-Birds jacket. They came up in there like a biker gang, bro. I was like, yo, that's fire. But, of course, not all all wave wave teams are like that. You know what I mean? Not all wave teams are like that, bro. So, I'm going to tell y'all, I'm not going to call no names. I'm not even going to say the name of the team. I ain't going to say none of that. 
I'm gonna just tell y'all the story. I ain't trying to start no drama. <laughs> I ain't trying to start no drama, but I'm gonna just tell y'all the story. So, this was like last year or the year before last. Um, this is really when I really started like getting into making wave videos. Cause at first I was doing the videos, but you know, I was kind of like the, the outsider. Like, all the whole buying mad brushes and, and all the crazy ass methods. I used to be talking against that. If you've been here, you know, you know this, right? So, I didn't even used to be on the, um, on the wave pages like that. But a, a few of my subscribers, like, started sending me invites to go to the wave pages. So I really started going to the wave pages. Then I started, like, really posting on Instagram or whatever. And then, um, there's a YouTuber, right? He invited me to, uh, to join this group, like, this this wave group or whatever, wave team. He said they was just starting, and he was a member. And, like, he suggested that they ask me to join. So like he put me in the um in the the chat. So I'm you know I'm talking to everybody. And the only reason I did it was because I remember Wavy Crockett used to talk about he was on a wave team or whatever. So you know I was like yo this this would be a nice little accomplishment for your boy. I can't really make wave videos. Let me try something different. So join the team. Then homie that put me on, he gets kicked out. I don't know why he got kicked out, but he gets kicked out. But I was still there, you know, showing love or whatever. And then the chat moved from um from Instagram to Facebook. Now this is where like I kinda started feeling real iffy about the whole situation because I'm all for like having brush sessions or whatever. But like I started feeling some type of way. When it would be like 3 in the morning, I'm deep, I'm knee deep in some vagina, bro. And my freaking Facebook chat going off. At 3 in the morning. You feel me? It would be like 2 in the morning, Facebook chat going off. 5 in the morning, I'm getting ready to go to work, Facebook chat going off. I'm like, yo, what the hell? Video calls, video call, video calls. A few of them times I answer and like... Son who started the joint, he like, you know what I'm saying? He, he trying to have breast sessions or whatever. And I'm like, I feel it. You dedicated. That's how I used to look at it. Even though I was annoyed, I'm like, ah, right, you dedicated. But I'm going to keep it funky, bro. I ain't calling nobody at, at, at 3 in the morning to have no breast session, bro. Like, like there's a, there's a, there's a, I feel as though there's a, there's a level between like dedication and just like, you 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 kind of you need a life, homie. Like you feel me? I, I, don't, I don't care. I don't even care, man. So anyway, that joint started like that joint was started started being annoying. But you know what I mean? Like I still didn't want to come off as as though oh I'm a YouTuber and like I'm better than y'all. I ne I never wanted to come off like that. So I was still like going there and show love and try to carry conversations. But one day I got up in there. And, like, the, I think the conversation was about me. Because as soon as I joined, I heard somebody said, Laz, yeah, boy, Laz be. And then, like, as soon as I joined, they stopped talking. Like, it was it was silent. So that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Like, like for me, bro, I'll be paying attention to body language, bro. So I'm on, I'm on the phone like this. I heard my name, so I'm just looking at everybody like, and I could tell, I could tell they was talking about me. So that was one. That was like the the second straw. The whole calling at three in the morning, or randomly just calling f for no reason. That was one. The second straw is when like folks was talking about me, and then when I got up in there, like they just stopped talking. Like you feel me? And and then after that, I, I did start feeling like started feeling weird vibes from. Them. That was one. The third straw. I think this was the one that really, like, broke the hump on the camel's back. That's what old folks say, right? This is the one that really broke that. There's another dude on there. I think he was in the Army, so he suffered from, like, PTSD, and he, like, you know what I'm saying? He he depressed. Y'all know how I feel about depression and mental health and all that. So one day we was having a conversation about, like, mental health, 
and like son that started the, the the group or the team or whatever he was there, he had an issue with literally like letting people have a conversation. Without putting his two cents. Like, you know, sometimes you got to listen. Before you, like, talk. Or just listen in general so you can learn something. Homie didn't really know how to do that. Like, he would just always try to add his two cents. That used to rub me the wrong way. And this day, me and son that suffer from PTSD or, or that depression or whatever, we just talking. So I'm talking about depression and, and my, my, um, my experience with it. And then he's talking about it. And then, like, conversation getting deep, bro. We ain't, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no brush session happening. Just a regular conversation. Homie come out of nowhere, bro. Man, F depression, man. F that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just get up on these brushes and just, I'm like. There's a time and a place for everything, son. You feel me? Like, me and homie really, me and son right here really connecting. Like, I, I. I'm feeling where he coming from. And whatever he's saying, I'm pretty sure it could help me out. Whatever it, I experience, I'm pretty sure it could help him out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I some of y'all may not get it, but before I used to like that that was having waves and all of that, that was kind of part of my um my regimen to like to control my, my, my depression and my anger and all that. You feel me? That and, and just... I'm saying getting pumps. Like, when I was getting pump pump that, that, that... That helped too. So, after that, bro, I started tapping in less. I was, I was kind of... I kind of washed my hands out, out the whole team group situation. I just... It, it was just one of them situations where, like, you can't... I don't, like, it's like somebody trying to, trying to lead you, but then they don't really have an idea for what they doing or a direction. That's, that's kind of how sun rubbed me off as, you know what I'm saying? Like, to me, I think, like, the, 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 the wave teams and all that, it's a cool social group, just like a biker gang. You feel me? Just like a book club. Like, it's cool. But when somebody try to impose it on you, and it seems as though that's all they got going, it's not healthy. So, after the whole depression joint, I stopped tapping in. And then, randomly, one day, like, I just decided, you know what? Let me, let me see what they talking about. So, I tapped in. It was me, him, and some young boy. And um, at the time, I was gonna get in, go into business with with another YouTuber because they had a product and the product was really good because they sent me a sample and like Sun ain't really he wasn't really marketing it right and like you know what I'm saying I I kind of I knew how to market the joint I would have been like yo you marketing it for like dudes or ways but every female I bought this joint too loved it. And it was basically like a better version of the freaking organ oil edge control. Like, I promise you, it was a better version of the edge control. And he said he was making it himself. So I'm like, yo, we can go into business. So me being a part of like a, a wave team or whatever, and it's a group of dudes who who all about here. I tapped in to the uh to the the Facebook chat to um to ask, like, to ask opinions, you know what I'm saying, get a, uh, get a tally to see how people feel about whatever, whatever, but it was just me and him and somebody else, so I mentioned it, and automatically, like, it was straight negativity, like, nah, bro, you can't trust this guy, you, you got nah, bro, I wouldn't even, and I'm not gonna hold you, since I've been in the, the team or whatever, like, son never had anything good to say about, um, the dude. So that rubbed me the wrong way. And then he was on some like, yeah, bro, he was for he'll mess around and do this, that, and the third. And that hit a that hit a nerve, bro. So I was like, yo, bro, let me tell you something, bro. I'm a gangster. Like he not if if he do some wild some wild ish, then we gonna we gonna have to see each other. 
when it comes to money, I don't play with money. I don't like people owe me money. I don't like own people money. And like me personally, I never do nobody foul. I'm always about fairness. So like that's how I carry myself. So if you do something foul to me, we gonna have to see each other. Like that's that's how I always carry myself. Even with like fighting, I don't like fighting. I mean, no, I'm lying. I like fighting. Like I love fighting, but. We, I'm grown, so you can't just randomly go out there and beat somebody ass for no reason. But all I'm saying is, if me and you get in the altercation, I am 100% sure you started it. If me and you get in any type of altercation, you started it. Because I don't just go out there and start stuff for nobody. You feel me? So, the way I look at it, since you started, you deserve this ass whooping. Like, you deserve to be taught a lesson. And that's how I look at business and any, any anything else. If you do... Something foul to me, something foul has to get done with you. So I, I, I explained that to son. And then, like, shit just got me so upset that I was like, you know what, bro? I don't feel like dealing with this. So what I did was I paused the um, I paused the, the Facebook group chat or whatever. And then I came back, like, I think, like, an hour later. And it said that I got kicked out of the group. And that's pretty much how... I was not a part of the, the little team anymore. And then probably like two weeks later, son and um the dude who's like talking about depression, they they had like some big commotion or whatever, uh whatever falling out they had on Facebook. And after that I was like, Yeah, I'm not joining no wave teams. But I mean I'm pretty sure all wave teams wasn't like that, but you know what I'm saying? I feel as though it's a nice little social club. But when people try to put rules on you, <laughs> like son, yo, son was dead ass trying to tell me how to run my YouTube channel, bro. Like, nigga was, was telling me, I'm like, what? I remember one time, homie was like, yeah, bro, you know, I got this, uh, I got this, <laughs> I got this situation, and um, it involved, it's a, it's a good business opportunity for you. But you know the the people I'm I'm involved with, they just don't like the all the drama and everything that's going on 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 YouTube. And I'm like, ah, right, that's a cool situation. What they talking about? Now I'm thinking they talking about bread. At the end of the day, like I got a I got a whole ass son, I got a whole ass a family. Like I got bills. You feel me? Like he like well, they talking about you know you do such and such and such and you get free products. What? You think I'm about to use my platform to help you get paid so I can get free products? I don't care about free pro Like, what? I get free products now without doing anything. Why would I, like, why would I promote you for free products? I'm not doing that. Even though some of y'all, some of y'all done got over on me as far as, like, me putting your stuff on my channel and, like, you ain't really, you know what I'm saying? You ain't had to pay no bread or nothing like that. And that shit is a dub. That's a dub. But, yeah, son, like, when he said that, I was like, yo, what? All right, bro, you, you not thinking straight. I wanted to say something else, but I was just like, you not thinking straight. But anyway, yeah, bro, so that's that's that was my experience with uh, being on a wave team. See how I did that? I ain't called no names. Y'all not... Some of y'all could probably guess the name of the team. I'm pretty sure people can guess the name of the team. But, yeah. It is what it is. Squat!